Howdy, howdy. Welcome back to another episode of Sorry Not Sorry. I'm Pastor Cholak. This is my co-host, Pastor Krieg. We, we are on uh, episode 25. Episode 25, that's right. So uh, 25, quarter century, we're, uh, we're getting there. Yeah. So uh, what, are we, we can, uh, what are we talking about today? Today, today we're going to talk about Easter myths and Easter truths. Very so, good. One of two great Christian holidays that oftentimes gets attacked by non-Christians. Yeah, especially this time of the year, you'll see, especially if you're on any kind of social media, anything like that, you'll see these uh, kind of gotcha moments from uh, atheists or pagans trying to say, well, you Christians think you this is your holiday, but you just stole it, or this really didn't happen the way you were saying it happened, and here's the truth. Here's the truth, yeah. And so they try to, to attack in that way. And so, the, yeah. So, we're, like I say, we'll, we'll look at some of that today. And like, it's not, it's not an exhaustive, uh, you know, um, you know, delve into, yeah, <laughs> into, into the uh, to the myths of or the so-called myths of Easter. But we'll hit some of the highlights of it and and go from there. So, if you if you have come across any of these in your in your uh, you know perusing through social media maybe this will help you um since it is the easter season most definitely and and keep in mind perhaps we'll do one of these uh when we're getting closer to christmas right that, that's the other time that oftentimes oh yeah this is those are the two big times where the target really really gets focused in on the christians um to try to to undermine these holy days of on the christian calendar of christmas right. and easter so going back we can go all the way to the bible yep and we can see that in the beginning issues yeah <laughs> Not quite that. Not quite far. that yeah. far, but but, uh, <laughs> but about three three chapters in. But go ahead. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we get an attack upon the promise mm-hmm. and an attack upon the resurrection itself. Right. So the one of the biggest myths that is out there, and it's and is and it has, you know, persisted since the very beginning of of Easter. Uh, that is that Christ actually didn't raise from the dead. And that you yeah. know a, a and, and the Bible speaks of this as well. You know, if he didn't. Raised from the dead, all this is in vain. Right. None of this matters if, if this didn't happen. And the devil knows that. And so if he can convince uh, the world that Jesus didn't actually raise from the dead, then by your own witness, this is, this is pointless. Uh, right. you're, you're, exactly. you're worshiping in vain. And so we can look to the, the biblical testimony. Um, we can look to uh, St. Matthew's gospel um, right. as it comes up. Um, as soon as Christ dies, we see them come to uh, to Pilate and, and ask, and or say, "Hey, you remember? Remember, Jesus' followers yeah. said that he was going to raise. That Jesus said he was going to raise from the dead. They're going to come steal his they're body. They're going to steal his body to try to perpetrate this lie. And so we need you, Pilate, to come and and you know set your guards at the tomb. And Pilate is not having it. He's like, yeah, get, you, you have, you've got your own people. You've got your own guards. Take care of yourself. <laughs> yeah, do this yourself. I find it interesting that they are worried that this will be uh, a second fraud mm-hmm. that's greater than the first. Like, right. They have this in their mind that, that these are two. Well, and I think they're also, they, you know, their hearts have been hardened. So they, they, they don't have faith. They don't believe Jesus is the Messiah. And so for them, the death was the end of it. They were like, you know, as they mocked him on the cross, oh, yeah. save yourself. As they had to clean up the temple <laughs> right, and fix the curtain and, and, fix the and curtain all sorts and, of other things. And question, you know, wonder why the, the sun went dark and, and everything yeah, else. Um, but, you know. Uh, Is it nighttime uh, already? <laughs> unbelief, unbelief will, you know, will, will cause us to do, to ignore the obvious. Yeah. Um, and so, and, and that's what we do. We'll, we'll latch. And this is what these myths do uh, for the unbeliever. We want to. Uh, we'll question every single thing, truth that is laid before us, um, and and demand all sorts of evidence. And, and when it's presented, we'll latch on to, to something that is unverifiable and right. and or or demonstrably false, and not question it. And right. so it can back up what we want. Um, but and so this is what they do. They were they didn't believe. They and so they thought, okay, well, we don't want these guys trying to. To, to keep this going, uh, yeah. we we've ended it. This is the this is it, and so they set the guard. And Easter morning comes. <laughs> <Dun, dun, dun, laughs> yeah. Uh oh. <laughs> yeah. Guess what? Death. <laughs> yeah. Right. And they set their own guards, and they were, and so they questioned the guards. And we see this in Matthew twenty-eight, um, the next chapter after that, where they they're asking what happens, and and they're like, look, we're giving you money. If somebody asks, 
use keep your mouth yeah, quiet. Yeah, yeah. Keep keep your mouth shut and, and, and tell them that you know that they, they was stolen or whatever. Mm-hmm. Um, and so there's this 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 desire to to hide the truth. Yeah, even at the the cost of complete dereliction of duty. Mm-hmm. Right. The, the embarrassment of regards. Uh, guarding a dead man, and we still <laughs> we still failed. It, we still failed. Sorry, there but was we got the money. Yeah, exactly. And so that's pretty funny. So yeah, so when the very first miss right there is is debunked by scripture, and you know, for someone who doesn't believe, would say, well, you can't use your Bible to to, you know, that's your 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 own the, that witness isn't reliable. It's but I, and I would contend with why wouldn't that historic document be less why is that less reliable than any other historical document that we have yeah. for, from eyewitness accounts are, are, are okay are always the, the most reliable or, or at least the what we l- rely on heavily mm-hmm. um in, in a court proceeding and so well, and then you have of course the fact that jesus doesn't just resurrect and then go off into heaven he shows himself to over 500 people yeah and for for over a month yeah. he, he's hanging out he's like coming to people and and so there were plenty of of people who saw him who interacted with him um during this time after the resurrection up till uh, his ascension and we get these accounts not just in one gospel it's mm. not like we can just discredit one guy right but we have it in in Matthew, we have it in Luke, and Acts, and Paul. <laughs> yeah, through, throughout, uh, we, we see Jesus coming to to us, or coming to his people, and and, yeah. and to verify the, the truth of what he had said before, that, yeah. that he will conquer death. And, and remember, when you're talking to somebody about the Bible, oftentimes the world is going to consider it one book, mm-hmm. and it's not. It's 66 books, right. and, and you have all these different accounts— Paul and Matthew didn't get along when the resurrection happened. <laughs> right? Yeah, you, you you see this, and you know, and you you see, um, you know, uh, Paul is a or Saul at the time uh, of the the resurrection is is a persecutor right. uh, of the church. Doesn't doesn't he's like him. He's a Pharisee of Pharisees. He's right. there to trap. He, he's he's invested in it being a lie. He's invested in it not being the truth. Right. Because this this. This threatens if because if this is true, or if these as he sees them these liars these disciples of, of Christ are able to p- continue to perpetrate this fraud, then it undermines his authority right. a, as who he is and his standing in the Jewish community. And so he's no friend of these people. Oh no! And yeah. but Jesus comes to him. Yeah. <laughs> and you. Yeah. Hey. Hey. You right there. Uh, I'm not gonna take your eyes away for a little bit, and then uh, you're it's gonna. It's hard to kick against the goads, man. <laughs> yeah. And uh, and so we we have this uh, this continual evidence of the resurrection and, and proof of it. And so and, and Paul's the guy who says if he hadn't been raised, mm-hmm. then our faith would be in vain, and all of this would be for naught. Right. And a big waste of time. Yeah. And so he understood uh, what what it meant for him to you know have been a persecutor of the church to now to to recognize the truth of. Of the resurrection and what Jesus had said throughout his ministry, his earthly ministry, and what the witness of the you know the Old Testament had led mm-hmm. up to right. to this moment as well, and so okay, and so that's kind of you know the the, the first uh, denial of the resurrection, but now the what first we see tier. right, and, <laughs> and 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 we see this in all sorts of forms. You see academics still writing about it today um, as if it's a not a, a new a new you know uh, take or something, but. Uh, they're just they're just plagiarizing the Pharisees in in their own way, mm-hmm. um, but then we we see this this one that I've seen really I've since, I guess since the advent of social media and as it has really taken off in in our society today, um, obviously people can post whatever they want mm-hmm. without any fact check or verification, um, and so we start to see the the idea that that Easter is well that the Christians just simply took over pagan festivals and co-opted them and took their beliefs and made them Christian beliefs. Right. And, and so this gets kind of uh, mumbled because there is not truth, but there is some sort of, there is an underlying, uh, uh, I guess, reality to that, um, but not the way in which they see it. Um, so you, you, the early church would build churches on 
pagan temples. They right. would they would they, they would <laughs> consec- stomp out the lie. Right. They would they would consecrate unholy ground uh, for holy purposes. Um, so you do have that. Mm-hmm. You do have that that um, co opting of p- paganism. If you want to call it that, it's not really co-opting, but it is a stamping out of it. And so oftentimes that gets pointed to as saying, say, see, y'all just took what the pagans were doing and made it your own. Um, not exactly. Not exactly. N- not exactly. Yeah. <laughs> but, so so one of them is, you know, you took the pagan festivals and you made them Christian. And so uh, the the name Easter, uh, Easter. Yeah, this is, is a German one. Yeah, this, is, this is, comes from the... Um, Oester or Eoster um, of the Germanic mm-hmm. uh, god of the dawn, I guess, um, that this is just a uh, co-opting of this, this pagan uh, goddess. And, and the, only, the only actual uh, historical record that we have of this is from the Venerable Beatty. When he writes the the history, uh, well, no, this wasn't in the history of the English people. This was, uh, but when he writes, uh, I, I'm, the name's escaping me, but it's in one of his tomes that he writes, and he talks about this that it may have come from uh, the the this uh, the name from that. And really, what he's saying is, Oester is the uh, this time of springtime, and so not Oest- necessarily the goddess, it's, but yeah, it's the time. It's the time. When- when when, happened to be that the pagans did this too. Yeah, and so it, so Oester Monte was the the month of this this springtime, and that becomes uh, now Easter. Um, of course, the other pro- the problem with this is that people were calling it the Pascha and celebrating yeah, it well before yeah, this. The the e- the name Easter is the minority. Right. Um, it is uh, English and German, really Germanic uh, and English. Are the only ones that everything else is Pascha after after the the, the Hebrew and the, the Greek. Um, right. So you know you take the Spanish or Latin or even your your Russian as well. All of those uh, use the Pascha yeah. um, as a as the um, name for the resurrection of our Lord. Exactly. Uh, and it's based so you on have the this minority of people that were speaking German or yeah or English that and, that pull up this word right and and so and and long before and like like you just said long before the Germanic peoples were converted to Christianity the Passover uh, the, the Pascha the Easter the Easter celebration the celebration were, were taking place were, were taking place um, and so it wasn't something that all of a sudden was invented in the 18th or or the the, the seventh eighth century or something like that right um, which is when Beatty's writing about this in the 700s, yeah, you oh. see it. You see the the writings that that give us the uh, Pascha celebration mm-hmm. when Rome is still in charge of that area of <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> of you, Germany. You, yeah, you, and so you, you're you're seeing all of that, um, and so and even if it was named after this, uh, you know, goddess of the dawn, this o- o- Eoster, um, so what? Um, nobody <laughs> says, well, you Christians celebrate Ash Wednesday because you are just co-opting Thor or Odin because Woden's day is Wednesday from Odin. And so now it's just something right, to right. do with the, the Norse gods. It's like, no, we no. have, the, yes, we have names that we still use that do derive from, uh, mythology, that doesn't mean we're worshiping those things <laughs> or, right, or right. to take away from the day that we're actually worshiping. Um, yeah, and you also have, and I'm not sure exact historians that do this, but you do have written when Jesus dies. Mm-hmm. Now, the fact that he dies is not a disputable sort of thing. You have right. actual Roman records of the death of this man, and we know when. Yeah, we we know when he died, and so and and we right at the Passover. <laughs> at the Passover, we know when that Passover took place. We can we can look to the the calendars. We we know the the cycles of the moon and how it would line up. And so two thousand years ago, roughly, we know what day it would have been on, and mm-hmm. so we know what time of the year it's going to be. Then that's why we can go into the future, and we know that in the future Easter is going to be on these days for the next you know hundred years or, or right, however right. long we want to go go out. Um, but so you have that that 
origin of the name Easter somehow we're worshiping a Germanic goddess. But then the uh, the one I like also is Ishtar. Ishtar. Uh, Ishtar. And this one, um, this is the, uh, I just wrote it down because I wanted to, to, to just uh, read it. Because yeah, this is it. the meme that I always see. So it's it comes up in some form of this. This is an Assyrian god, yeah, so goddess. Right? I- I- Ishtar is the Assyrian goddess of, uh, and this is what it says. It says, Easter was originally the celebration of Ishtar, the Assyrian and Babylonian goddess of fertility and sex. Her symbols, like the egg and bunny, were and still are fertility and sex symbols or did you actually think eggs and bunnies had anything to do with the resurrection? After Constantine decided to Christianize the empire, Easter was changed to represent Jesus. But at its root, Easter, which is how you pronounce Ishtar, which isn't actually how you pronounce it, is all about celebrating fertility and sex. So it's yeah. this, this whole idea that... Which is uh, what people like to talk about. Yeah, you, you Christians just have a, um, you know, you co-opted a sex cult. And now you're using it to to you know you think you're so original. This has been going on right. for for a long time. Um, one, this uh, remember just because it's on the internet doesn't mean it's true. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> so I hope I hope everybody out there knows that. And if you don't know that, uh, uh, please take that from this episode. Not everything on the internet is true. Um, That's a quote from Abraham Lincoln. Yeah, he he said that. He said that. Yeah. <laughs> So when you kind of look at it, Ishtar, who was Ishtar? Well, she was a, a Babylonian um, goddess. Right. Um, we, we, t- we know about, you know, the Ishtar Gate. You can go look at it, or I think it's in the uh, British Museum when some, some of the other, there might be some other ones, or representations of it or something. There was this, this huge gate that Nebuchadnezzar had, you know, had built. And so there's, there's reference, not actually Ishtar, but there's reference to the gate, the North gate that would have been mm-hmm. the Ishtar gate in Babylon, um, in, you know, Daniel, second Kings, these types of things. Yeah. Um, so we know Ishtar was this, this goddess, but she wasn't just this goddess of fertility and, and sex. She was also a goddess of, of war and, 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 uh, protection and fate and child childbearing and, and, and marriage and this, a whole bunch of other things. thing of Satan's work where he likes to pinpoint one thing and ignore all of the all, other. All of the other, yeah. Let's yeah. focus, you know, let's let's major in minors and, and mm-hmm. just just look at that one little thing and, and twist it. Right. You know, did God really say? And and that's that's been Satan's MO from the beginning. And so, uh, you know, and then we looked in the second one, well, Ishtar's symbol is the, the rabbit and the egg. There's no evidence of that. Uh, what? There, there's like there's no because there evidence. are pictures of bunnies and eggs all over Babylon, <laughs> right? right. And so it's like, um, it's there and there is actual symbols of Ishtar, uh, animal symbols, and it's the lion, uh, most notably. Uh, there's a there's. St- I don't peg the Babylonians for a cutesy little uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. cottontails <laughs> no. when when uh, they conquered the, uh, the yeah. Eastern world, <laughs> right? And and also as with many gods, yeah, one of Ishtar's symbols as a star either an eight or 16 pointed star um but oh. no no rabbits. no bunnies and rabbits no no and, no eggs and eggs no oh, man. although you know eggs have been uh, a symbol of fertility and 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 even rabbits uh, will be a, a symbol of fertility because of their oh, high or of new life right? of new life and like these lilies also and, and lilies exactly and and you know, well and you know there's there's all these you know, we, if we do one on Christmas when the, the poinsettia and what what it mm-hmm. represents and how it represents and so we can take these things that God has given us and created and find meaning in them or representation symbolism exactly. in them um, and that's that's nothing bad <laughs> it, right. that that's okay it, we, it reminds us of the bigger truth of what it is well and it's the, it's the god who created all things becoming part of the creation to yeah. redeem you yeah and these things of creation all rejoice in in the lord's day for they know that they're they're soon to be released, right? Right, and so you know we, we that the, the word Easter really you know it's derived isn't derived from Ishtar as it says you know that's the way you really pronounce it. It's I was like well is it so I went and looked up and tried to look up the phonetic had mm-hmm. and and looked up a bunch of different places that would we, we pronounce it. Yeah, and it was. It's always Ishtar. It's I always mean, Ishtar. It's Ishtar. It's, it's not Eastar. Um, it's uh, not a. It's, it's not going to be anything like that. So, and there is no real linguistic. I mean, Easter, Oester is Germanic. 
Ishtar is Assyrian. He's Assyrian, uh, Babylonian. Babylonian. I mean, there, there, yeah, there's no, there's no crossover. There's, <laughs> it's, it's the <laughs> biggest stretch ever. Um, so if you see that, that meme out there that, that somebody emails you that or just says this yeah. or wants to argue this, it's just. Well, and also remember that the whole world didn't use English letters. Right. <laughs> <laughs> they had a different alphabet. They, they did. They actually and had you a different alphabet. You can look at these words and, 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 I mean, they're almost pictures, almost. Right. Well, uh, and that, that's something to remember as well, when we, especially when we're taking uh, these, these words from different languages and we wind up almost with maybe if a, a homophone or something like that. Uh-huh. Yeah, they sound alike, but they have completely different meanings. Right. Completely different meanings and spelled differently. Different roots. Uh, different roots, you everything. Have, you have to go back and look at the yeah. the etymology of these words. Exactly. And when you do that, it's it's clear that this... And, and no serious scholar debates mm-hmm. this, really. Uh, there's no one really pushing this. Now you'll see celebrities or, or oh, of course. Your, your keyboard warriors or whoever is out there trying to, trying to disprove uh, Easter and its origins and these types of things. But... It's just, it's the proof isn't there. They're right. the ones fighting the uphill battle. Um, so on the other side of the coin, then, we have a whole bunch of Easter truths. We do. We do. And it is attested to us in multiple places. Uh, well, or, you know, the different accounts of the Gospels. Uh, yeah, all sorry, four, of the resurrection. All yeah. four Gospels have an account of the resurrection. Egg, right. Four different men. Yeah. And, and, and so we, we look to each of these, and you can see... Uh, and it is, you know, one may have a different detail mm-hmm. uh, than another one. It may have seen it from a different angle or reporting it to a different audience or whatever it might be, but it's still the same account. Yeah. Um, it's still the same truth that, yes, Christ was, you know, went before uh, the Sanhedrin, went before Pilate, went before Herod, you know, was, was Barabbas was, 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 you know, exchanged for him and was freed. And, and then he was crucified, you know, he was, he was walked there. Simon of Cyrene was, carried his cross and, and he was there with the two thieves and, and the, the centurion uh, that, that they, you know, they, they gambled for his, his, his cloths and, and they were, you know, pulled lots for his, his, his clothes, his garments. Yeah. His garments. They, they gave him the sour, you know, um, wine and vinegar off, off a hyssop and, and a sponge and and all of these details are are all in there and 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 even the conversations of the thieves on the cross the conversations of the mockers on the ground Jesus's words from the cross it's right. it, it continues and it continues and it and it's and it's a clear witness and then his death and what happens at his death yeah and we see you know the ripping of the curtain the earthquake the darkening Darkness, of of the of, resurrection of other people yeah the, the the opening of the tombs of the of, of those who had uh, those uh, patriarchs of, and saints mm-hmm. of the past and all of this is is witnessed to uh, throughout. And even even Paul in Romans talks about it uh, as you know uh, Christ's uh, resurrection and 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 that we are buried with him and and we will the, be raised. The beautiful ba- baptism truths of wh- why are you baptized? Right, if you're baptized, don't you know that those of you who have been baptized <laughs> into death have been uh, into Jesus have been baptized into his death. Right. And if you've been baptized into his death, most surely you've been baptized into his resurrection. Right, and so it's tied there to mm-hmm. the very beginning. Um, and then you see the witness of. of of those women afterwards that were that are at the empty tomb you have the uh the the witness of of the disciples that go and and you know run to the tomb to see it mm-hmm. and and to see for themselves uh, and then you you know later on the, the witness of thomas uh, thomas the upper room you know again they're locked in there and he appears uh, mm-hmm. uh first to the, the those 10 and then to thomas the next time to the 11 and and then and then as he goes throughout to the Emmaus disciples to the Emmaus disciples yeah you look in and in, in luke uh 25 right and 24 is it, 24 is it Emmaus? Uh, yeah okay yeah luke 24 um you see this you see that uh, as their eyes are opened whenever <laughs> and yeah and throughout um and, and he the, eats the fish and the honeycomb right and um, that you see that a ghost does not eat like i do right right remember and, the slimer <laughs> the slimer scene in Ghostbusters where the that hot pizza dogs are just, just or the, yeah, yeah it's all just, just goes straight through. onto the floor. That's that <laughs> doesn't happen. He's not a spirit. Yeah, he, he is raised in the in the flesh and blood and uh, the spirit. He is there. 
um, all the way to the ascension, um, where where we see the witness through through scripture mm-hmm. um, of him leaving um, and going uh, to 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 heaven uh, to sit at the right hand. Right. We, we have this continuously. Um, so the truth far more attested to right than any myth that is out there. Uh, the truth of the resurrection is there. But ultimately, and we've talked about this in the apologetics, unless the Holy Spirit has is, is pricked your heart oh, yeah. and you have faith, I don't care how no, much can evidence. Say, Lord, Lord, without the Holy Spirit. Right. So yeah. it, it is going to be uh, up to, you know, that, that, that faith that, that is going to grasp hold of that truth. Mm-hmm. Um, and without that, you know, you might come to the conclusion, yeah, I think that's that, but you're never going to believe that Christ is the, is the Savior of the right. world, right. And that, that He is your that Savior. That He's your Savior. Yeah, yeah exactly. And, and so when we don't have that, then we're left with, with nothing. We're left with making up myths to try to dispel the truth. But thanks be to God, He sent His Spirit to preach this Word to us, to give us His gifts through His Word and sacrament. He did. He we did. And we are, we are better off for it. So, uh, But well, I think it's probably a... Good way to stop. Good way to stop. Um, did want to mention though, going forward, we you, you might you might see a different no format uh, going forward. Maybe not next week. I don't know. We'll, we'll see how it it plays out. But um, I have taken another call. Um, the Lord has has called me to Bethlehem Lutheran Church in William Penn, Texas, and so uh, Pastor Cholak and I no longer will be serving as colleagues in the same church. We we'll still be colleagues and brothers in Christ, but we want right. to continue this. Uh, this sorry not sorry so we we will be making that happen it will be looking uh, it will look a little different since we're not going to be sitting together as right. uh, we'll be about an hour or so I'm certainly away glad from... you're not leaving the great country of texas oh no no only a couple couple counties over um okay. so birth birthplace of texas washington county so nice, nice. Okay. Uh, but uh but we'll be we will be um uh, continuing with sorry not sorry so it may give us a couple of weeks uh till we figure it out but uh, we're not going anywhere yep wonderful mm-hmm. So, in the meantime, hit the like, subscribe, uh, ring the bell. Make it all happen. Yeah. Leave a a comment. It's good. All right. All right. Until Until next week, I'm Pastor Kelly Krieg. Pastor Steve Cholak. God's peace.